How's my hair look? Perfect. You look like a dirt bag. Oh my god. Tuck that cord in there. You look fucking down here. Jesus. You getting a cross shot? Out? Make sure it's recording. I don't know. I can't open it. It's Brandon's phone. Jesus <laughs> what are you? What are we going over? <laughs> Brandon! I need your fingerprint, Brandon. It's recording. Right, here we go. Uh, we got a 2020 outdoor RV. And do you want to take a look at the roof? There's 970 watts of uh, Zamp solar up there. We'll let the... Uh, the drone do that. All right, step inside. Did a full Victron power system, multi plus 3000 mounted in the gear bay. Come back in here. We moved the lithium battery bank, mounted the two batteries in here and we left space for an additional two. See over here, we mounted a, a nice little clean mount of the sub panel. And then we built that utility chase. Well, this panel is all new? Uh, the power dynamics was factory. Uh, we just added the sub panel there which feeds the inverter i gotta go get a flashlight that like sucks dude your phone's in dude. all right let's look at this panel so yeah right here you can adjust your current limit this allows you to plug into say a 15 amp outlet in your garage turn your current limit down to 10 amps and now your inverter won't pull more than 10 amps from your shore power source so you're not going to pop out anything on a um, Exactly, you won't pop power. any breakers. If you, say, turn your microwave on or fire up an AC unit, the inverter will pull um, 10 amps from shore power and then it'll supplement with the battery bank. Um, so you can use all the trailer features. Charge. It's like you're plugged into 30 amps while you're plugged into 15 amps. So yeah, really cool feature. Okay, what else we got back here? So we got our uh, sub panel here. This is actually shore power comes into here, feeds the inverter which is mounted behind you in the gear tunnel. The inverter brings power back to our main panel there, to all our loads. Underneath the bed, we removed the batteries from the tongue for safekeeping inside the coach. We've got two right now and there's space for four. So we'll have 400 amp hours of lithium. It's got a nice sizable bank. And then up top, there's 970 watts of solar. Um, Zamp obsidian panels. We actually got them on a smoking deal. They're B stock, so they got Cosmetic blems. We still have some uh, in the shop for sale. So, set, how do you say it? Sale? Sell? For sale? For sale in, in Utah? Here in Utah, yeah. <laughs> so, let's say pretty well optimized for off grid. Yeah, pretty. Living. Yeah, you can be boondocking for days. So, in the gear tunnel, you're looking at a Victron, Victron Multi Plus 3000 inverter charger. And then we also have our Victron uh, MPPT solar charger, which is capable of putting out uh, 70 amps, roughly, charge current. We also have a low voltage disconnect from Victron. Also mounted there is the smart BMS shunt, which monitors all the current flowing through the system in and out. It's one of the, one of the larger installed. systems we've installed. Yeah, definitely. Probably the most capable inverter we've installed. Yeah. Hopefully we've installed a lot more of them.